guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, happy to have you join us. So just as I sat down here to start recording, my internet and cable came back online. It has been off since the hurricane, Hurricane Milton. So it's nice, <laughs> finally. I was using uh, my cell phone hotspot. Uh, only problem with that is it's easy to record, but the uploading takes hours, hours. So that will not be the case today. So anyway, um, let me jump right in. Pulling from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle. Let's see what message comes through. For you, Palladian activation coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. Something being resolved here for you, Capricorn. Some harmony there. I, I am going to say, though, just stick a pin in this, that today as I record this, Mercury is changing signs, moving into the sign of Scorpio. So communications for the next two and a half weeks can be a little intense. Um, and so there can be something erratic, especially just as the planet changes signs. So there could be arguments. Um, you want to try to be kind. Don't say something you might later regret. Um, but there's no retrograde in the immediate future. So it's just a matter of shifting and adjusting to this new energy okay so what i'm going to do is pull the spread give you my general impression uh and then i'll go back around with the clarifiers that's what we're going to do um remember it's a general reading not a private reading so it may not resonate for all of you take what speaks to you leave the rest and as always energies can come through reversed and what that means is that i could be speaking directly to a cross watcher here we go. Nice. Three of Wands opening up with some anticipation. Maybe something that you've set in motion through some intention setting um, and uh, possibly just awaiting its arrival. The challenge here, ooh, is a need for some clarity. Some truth you may be anticipating. Uh, the root of the problem or the root of the issue or the situation, three of cups. It could be that you're awaiting some truth, something to be revealed, uh, could be looking for some reconciliation or a cause for celebration in the past death card, talking about growth, change, transformation, or maybe something that was phasing out in your conscious awareness, six of pentacles. And in the Six of Pentacles, we're looking for the reciprocity, um, right? I, I, it's about generosity of uh, on all levels in a connection. That's what we're reading for. So we're looking for some give and take in the near future, overcoming any obstacles. So I do feel what I'm looking at here, Capricorn, is something that needed, uh, required some change. So leaving behind maybe some old patterns or something that wasn't serving the connection you're now awaiting those changes and what's challenging you here with the ace of swords is um some some sort of insight some sort of information around that right has it happened will it happen is this person equally invested in the connection in a major way not a small way this is the big kahuna right we start small with the three of pentacles are we on the same page here do you want what i want are we kind of being cooperative but then once we get to it that six of pentacles is when we know we're both invested a hundred percent and then in the near future overcoming any final remaining obstacles all right that's it that's a theme three of wands and the Ace of Swords clarified by, perfect. Um, yeah, moving beyond any kind of turbulence, 
Queen of Pentacles comes out next and underneath is the Three of Swords. So there may be some residual hurt feelings that we're looking to clear up, get some clarity around it and move beyond it. And I'm seeing this Ace of Swords as that final say, that final um, uh, truth, that final insight or um, clarity that says, yeah, we're moving beyond whatever it was that was difficult or challenging because we're now transforming this connection. So something here that requires possibly some reconciliation. Um, I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles here because it is Capricornian energy as whoever it is that <clears throat> is showing up to watch the reading. Doesn't have to be the Capricorn. It has to be somebody seeking this information. All right, so let's look at the Three of Cups because it's looking for stability, Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, stability for the future. Yes, Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, almost as if we're sort of reigniting the torch of passion for the future. That would be the cause for celebration. Queen of Cups, open to it. Um, but it's from the bottom of the deck. So for those of you who are new, when I'm pulling from the bottom of the deck, it's what you can't see. So it's either coming from unconscious awareness or playing out behind the scenes in some form or fashion. But I, I do feel that you're going to need an open heart for this. So it's about not being a doormat, being open, sensitive, compassionate. Um, she's very intuitive. She's the empath of the tarot, but not like don't it's about not being a bleeding heart in the situation because there's still some residual heart hurt feelings as i said so we want some form of reconciliation we want you know to seize the opportunity in the moment as we push forward ten of pentacles in this in this context is about future plans for the relationship because in our conscious awareness it's like are you ready for this are we both really going all in? Um, and I'm feeling as if that is something that was lacking and you're kind of waiting on this, sorry, waiting on this final, yep, yep, I'm in. I want what you want. I can give as well as take, as well as receive. Death card in the past. Tower, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. So we did have a blowout here. I am not surprised. Um, with all of the energies that have been shifting, we just came through the eclipse wormhole, had a big full moon uh, eclipse. Um, yeah, it was Pisces, then the, the new moon in Libra with an eclipse. So there was a lot of painful endings, tower moments, and I feel like it's something that had, had sort of taken a long time to sort of play itself out. So almost like tower energy in slow-mo, uh, which can be super painful. Like you see it coming, like that Indiana Jones boulder in coming at you in slow-mo. And I do feel I still feel I'm seeing a transformation here, um, but almost like it, it had to play itself out the long, slow, hard, slow way. Um, and if I may say so, almost like you couldn't get out of the way for some reason. Some of you here, maybe even just one of you saw it coming, but could not escape it. There may have been reasons for that. And that's why this Queen of Pentacles is um, why I'm seeing it in such a general sense as whoever you are watching, because you're trying to get the ground back beneath your feet. And, and so this Three of Swords, you're not leading with it. It's you're, There's recovery here. I'm seeing recovery and getting beyond it. And that last final Ace of Swords is that m moment of truth where it's like, yeah, we're beyond it now, we're recovered, we're 
overcoming that obstacle is that last step. But what you're focused on in this moment is okay. So now, are we good? Because I need that reciprocity going forward for the future. Right? What you're, what you're asking for is the generosity of time, energy, effort, resources, spirit, and love in this connection. It's not a monumental request. But you got to know. Ace of Swords. That's what you're anticipating, that answer. Yes, you're anticipating it from someone who has maybe not been very um, forthcoming. The King of Swords, an upright, to me, always wants to do the right thing, always comes from integrity and honor, honest, truthful, um, but, there's a quality there that there's a lot going on behind the eyeballs, but not a lot coming off the tongue. This is somebody who's very parsimonious. Less is more, you know, uh, can be a little cool, a little distant, a little aloof, walks to the beat of their, you know, their own drum. This is Aquarian energy in that King of Swords. So the fact that it's from the bottom of the deck, this is playing out behind the scenes, yes, partially, but it's also in your unconscious awareness. It is what you're anticipating, right? What you're hoping is coming in for you is this person um, approaching you with some measure of willingness to be invested in this connection. That's the Ace of Swords that's crossing you. Is, is that the truth? Is that the reality? Because it's not just the ask, it's what you need. Strength card in the near future. Wow. So I, I do feel um, we have these three major arcana and I f I'm, the way I'm perceiving it is maybe you've both been journeying a bit i'm seeing you as divine feminine energy um kind of coming in off the grid after some time to yourself exploring your own needs exploring your own motivations explore exploring right it's introspection self-awareness personal growth and kind of peeking out now and saying, yeah, I've been tested here, but I know I can overcome these obstacles. So coming from the highest version of divine feminine energy, willing to face whatever needs to be faced. And that nine of cups from the bottom of the deck is sort of on some level internally, you're good with whatever that outcome's gonna be. Because you know who you are, you know what you're made of, you know, you know, um, you know your worth and value. And so it's almost like I'm seeing your energy in the near future of whatever this Ace of Swords response is or whatever information you get from it, uh, you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. You're going to have a lot of a, a, a strong sense a strong sense of emotional self-satisfaction. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do, obviously, is take it to the extended for our friend, the King of Swords, see how they show up. I'm seeing you very clearly, how they show up, how their take on this connection, how they see you, um, think about you or feel about you, and their intentions, which I think is sort of what you're waiting on. What you're anticipating um, and and we'll we'll see we'll see what they have to say and that can be very helpful especially for those of you who just watched this and said oh my god like that's it that's what's happening right now 
Um, so before I give the astrology that showed up in this reading, if you have been enjoying my readings and have not yet done so, please do subscribe below. That's how I get to stay here and operate on this platform and bring you the messages that are speaking to you, resonating for you. I do offer private readings. There's always a link below every video. You have to scroll just a little bit and that will take you to the booking page. I am available for those private readings all the time. Um, but the channel is my primary source of support. So things may have to change because it's been a real struggle lately. So please stay alert if you see something that pops up that says channel update, you might want to watch it because I may need to make some changes next month um, to keep this channel afloat. Okay, just wanted to give you the 411 on that. Here we go. We have Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn, but of course. We have the Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The Death card is Scorpio. Uh, Tower is Mar uh, yeah Mars, which rules Aries. We have the King of Swords is Aquarian energy. Strength card is Leo. Hermit is Virgo. Empress is Venus, which rules Taurus and Libra. Don't forget about your Palladian activation coming together, harmony in the heavens, and some resolution. So we might have a resolution to some of these issues. So I'm going to take it to the extended. I'll be there in a second. The links are below. And uh, bye for now.